Port details the final moments from inside the cockpit before a plane crashed off the coast of Mayport in December, killing a father and a son inside. Action News Jack's Letitia Barriola is live right now in the newsroom. Letitia, we're seeing a partial transcript right now of the plane's communication with the tower for the first time. The NTSB just released this three page preliminary report on the crash from December 20th. Action News Jax was there when the wreckage was recovered just two weeks ago. Action News Jax cameras captured the moment a mangled plane made it back to land February 6th. Peter and Sully and his son Daniel were flying from Orlando to New Jersey when the plane hit severe weather. We learned today that both were certified pilots. The NTSB report released Thursday says around 9 a.m. on December 20th, an air traffic controller tried several times to contact the plane, and someone finally responded, We're not okay. We need help. When asked what's going on, the pilot responded, I'm not sure what's happening. And then I have anti ice and everything. Less than a minute later, someone in the plane said it was upside down and they needed help. After that, they lost contact. Investigators initially believed the plane crashed off the coast of Ponte Vedra Beach, but later determined it went down off the coast of Mayport. This is a sonar image showing the moment crews discovered the wreckage from a plane crash in December. Crews use three red airbags you see highlighted here to float the plane to the surface and towed it back to dry land. The wreckage that was recovered two weeks ago is now part of the ongoing NTSB investigation. The NTSB never sent investigators to the area because the crash happened during the government shutdown. In the newsroom, Letitia Bariola, CBS 47, Action News Jax.